Good morning. Folks, we've got news on geoengineering, earthquakes, a distant galaxy, and ancient stellar events in our solar system. You might have noticed the sun is active as well. Let's start there at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. Mild coronal hole on the south, but that incoming active region has twice reminded us what we're watching for. Two eruptions since we last spoke. Each has released CMEs into space on their first day of staring down our planet. The most amazing scene was a line of solar tornadoes hit by the first eruption, blocking some of the eruptive power and collapsing the plasma filament of solar twisters. Both eruptions visible on Soho Lasco here will miss Earth, but it is active and facing Earth the next five to eight days. Eyes open. So let's go into a cyclone. This is what it looked like as Fani made landfall in India. More than a dozen are confirmed dead this morning, and the numbers are rising every few hours as cleanup begins. So we remember just days ago we showed the latest USGS seismic hazard map for the United States. Well, we've got to hit a new one again, but this time revisiting the risk from induced seismicity as well. Obviously quite the different picture. Revisiting a galaxy up next, this is Galax UV view of NGC 2903, high energy aesthetic beauty and now Hubble has captured a much cleaner shot. While UV is obviously at work here, we also have optical and maybe even infrared on going here revealing the dust and gas between the arms. Up next, revisiting geoengineering to find some, revisiting the merits of secondary and tertiary effects of the application and looking for ways to stop it. Of course, whenever caution has been expressed about spraying the sky, you can always count on recent counterpoints in favor of poisoning the air by everyone's favorite climate avenger, Captain Chemtrail. Exhaust me. <laughs> Bring me the stone. Meteorite stone, that is. We're revisiting the composition of the solar system, and this story goes back to arguments between Nova in the past and even at the beginning of the solar system. While others blame the rare elemental composition on neutron star mergers, it's that same group out of the University of the CIA, I mean Columbia, by the way, pointing to stars that are not the sun. That seems to be as prevalent as blaming humans for changes on Earth, but the science, the stories, and the only way to account for all of the evidence of previous catastrophes on our planet is to look at the sun, and for something that more resembles a micro-nova than anything else. Earth's catastrophe cycle is linked right below this video. 23 episodes all leading to that conclusion, each examining a different piece of the puzzle and then putting them together. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Website members, be on the lookout for your weekly Fly on the Wall podcast coming up here in just a few hours at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.